What's up guys, welcome to your 12th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to hold keyframes and also how to even out your animation path really easily. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is teach you guys how to hold keyframes. Now what holding keyframe means is this. If you go to our animation and watch, you see that uh, Charlie the Chupacabra is going to go along this motion path in a nice uh, smooth manner. Just like that. But sometimes you're going to want them to jump from one keyframe to another. And this is called holding a keyframe. It holds the object at one keyframe until it gets to that point in time where it reaches the other keyframe and then it makes them jump to that keyframe. So go ahead and select whatever keyframe you want to hold. I'm going to go ahead and select the first one since I'm going to want to hold them on the first one. Once you have the first keyframe or any keyframe selected, go up to animation, go down to toggle hold keyframe. And as you can see, this dotted line now changed to a straight line. And when we play our animation, it's going to hold Charlie here until he gets to this point in time and then it's going to jump him to the next keyframe. So let's watch it in action. As you can see, Charlie stayed at the first keyframe until it was time to go to the second keyframe, which it held him there. Now remember, whatever keyframe you hold, it's going to hold him there until it gets to the next keyframe. So if you're going to hold your last keyframe, it's not going to do anything. It's going to be worthless. So another easy way that you can do this is hold down the control alt tab. It's a control alt and click your keyframes. This is a really easy way that you can toggle them on and off. So let me just play you guys that real quick. Show you guys what that means. As you can see, he automatically jumps from one keyframe to the to the other while keeping his other animation properties. So let's change that back to normal and I want to show you guys the next thing I wanted to go over today. And that's called roving keyframes or I, what I call a, um, evening out the speed of your animation. Now once you have a huge motion path, you can see that it can be a pain that all of these speeds are different. For example, this one goes slower and this one goes real fast. Now I could try to adjust those by hand in the graphical editor, but there's a lot easier way to do this. First we need to open up our graphical editor so we can see what's going on. And now we can see the speed of uh, Charlie. First he's going kind of slow and then he's going kind of fast. Now if we have a huge path then it can be a kind of a pain to even all these out so here's a shortcut. Go ahead and make sure that your position is selected so and once you click this it'll select all your keyframes then you want to go down to the triangle right here and you want to click rove across time now before I click this take note of how close these dots are and how far away these dots are right here when you click a rove across time you can see all your dots are evened out and now when we play our animation Charlie goes at a nice constant speed throughout the whole animation. Just what we wanted. And again, you can see it graphically here that instead of two different speeds in your graph, you now have one constant speed. And this is very useful when you have a huge motion graph with a bunch of keyframes. Then you can just press this little triangle, press rove across time, and this will make your animation remain a constant speed. So if you tried anything else before, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's a lot easier way. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.